Hi guys, welcome to a new episode of the Fashion Cafe. We got our tea right here. I and have tea. I have a very special guest right here, but I'll tell you more right after the intro because a lot of you guys have been asking me where our intro has been and I have a new one. I hope you like it. Fashion, fashion, it's Evelina's Fashion Cafe. Woo! Alright, so today we're doing something really awesome. We're going to show you some interesting fashion hacks. And I have here my friend Megan from Strawberry17. What up, guys? Megan, what do you do on your channel? Because my viewers really want to know. Oh, um, I my channel is a nerdy assortment of goodies. I do cosplay on Mondays, Minecraft on Tuesdays, nerdy cooking on Wednesdays, group gaming on Thursdays, and then lifestyle on Fridays. It's just, I just do a whole bunch of stuff. So. It's really good stuff. I know that a lot of you are already watch her, but if you don't, it's like really... You might not. This no. is a different demographic. I, I, you have to check it out. I have to berries. check it out. Isn't that what they're called? Okay, so her audience are berries. You guys are berries. So berries and berries need to be friends. So yeah, yeah we have some fashion hacks right here. I'm gonna share a couple with you and then Megan has some of hers, mm -hmm. which are pretty awesome. Yeah. So I'm gonna start with the first one, which my mom taught me recently because I bought a pair of shoes and they just wouldn't fit. And my mom was like, this is what you need to do because I saw it in a Russian TV show. This is really so, cool. What you're gonna do is I'm gonna make a mess all over this table. And you're gonna get smell this away. really badly. Yes, you're gonna take some vinegar and a sock, and you're gonna soak this real nicely in vinegar, which I'm gonna do a little bit. I'm not gonna do like a full on crazy demo right here. Here. You did a full on crazy demo. Yes. It just got. Woo! You feel that? Oh, great. It just hit me. <laughs> <laughs> so. I'm awake. Just, I actually did this right before I had to go to a wedding, so my shoes were kind of smelling like vinegar. But Ew. the thing is that, so you're gonna stuff it in there and just leave it for a couple of hours. Uh, th this is gonna sort of loosen up the leather and gonna stretch it a little bit. And then you're just gonna put your foot straight into it. Just make sure you do it kind of the same day so they're still a little bit damp. You're gonna think it's crazy, but the vinegar smell oxidizes. So it stretches oxidize. it out, right? Yep. So, so it's actually very effective. And I did it on my really expensive shoes and they were fine. Gosh, that's brave. I would be way too afraid. I yeah. just would suffer and go through the pain and be like, it's okay, it's worth it. I, I know, because I was like, well, if my mom said it, I'm going to do it. Because she's usually crazy at these types of tips. She's like the Russian Yoda. The what? Russian Yoda? Oh my gosh. Okay, so for my first life hack, um, I kind of don't like having clothes on. I know that's like really dumb, but sometimes I'm in a hurry and I just want to like Get my stuff, I don't want to go, especially if I don't really feel that great. No, I hate trying clothes on. I never try clothes on. Really? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's just, just scrub them. It just takes way too long. And with jeans too, because if you're wearing shoes, you have to um, take off your shoes. If you're wearing flip flops, it's a lot easier. But, anyways, I'm going to show you a really easy way to um, see if pants fit you. So, what you got to do is you take the pants off the rack or wherever they're folded and you put them around your neck like so and if they touch right here then they're gonna fit and I swear this works because I use this all the time whenever I'm shopping and it has never failed me yeah what if you're like a really skinny person with a big neck <laughs> I'm just saying it's then a possibility this life hack is not going to work for you <laughs> I'm gonna actually test this out I don't know if it works but if you see this because it's actually quite a lot of blogs that white wine is supposed to remove the stains from red wine so I'm gonna take this white shirt and get some red wine in it and see if this works. So if you're at a party, drink some red wine, you make a mess. Right. Just get some white wine and just throw it on your shirt too, why not? Okay. You're already drunk. <laughs> you spilled wine on yourself. Right. Right? Just go home. Just go just home. Give up. We call a cab. <laughs> so here's the red wine. Okay. It's not that red, but let's see. Do you see it? Can you see it? Everybody see it? All right. I feel like this is an OxyClean commercial. <laughs> right? It's like, wow, it feels like this stain is gonna get out so quick! The oxygen oh my gosh. and the vinegar. All right, moment of truth. I'm gonna feel so embarrassed if this actually doesn't work. And maybe you have to wait a little bit. Just give it some time. It's, it's oxidizing the you red. You know what? You know what? I think it's <gasps> working. Whoa, show them so they can see as it's working. Can you guys see can it? see that? So it's like, it, it kind of starts to oxidize a little bit. There's a hair. Are we using that word correctly? Oxidize? I think Billy so. Billy Mays? I think so. Oh, it works. <gasps> Whoa! It works. Look. How does that work like Let me that? See. Keep going. Just don't stop. Oh. Drench? Put the shirt in the bottle. <laughs> I know. Let me just. Put some wine in your tea. <laughs> That's 
gonna be a whole different video. <laughs> oh my gosh, and you can wow. rub it a little. And you can already see the difference. You see how dark it was? Mm -hmm. So whatever I'm putting the white one, you it still have to works. wash it, but it helps get rid of that stain. Right, not if you're as like obvious. at a party and you're wearing a white blouse, mm -hmm. just grab some wine, white wine. So I can definitely see how it works. I don't see it like 100%, but... If it makes the stain easier to get out when you get home, then exactly. that's great, because red exactly. wine can stain permanently. So my second life hack is how to um, iron your collar really quickly. Just use your straightening iron, why not? You just got done doing your hair, so just uh, use it on your collar and it'll make it look nice and pretty and you'll look fresh to death and all of the boys will think you're so beautiful. Oh yeah, great back to school tip. Yeah. So my next one is something that I used to do a lot in high school because I love white sneakers and they get so dirty. Uh, two things that you can use is either whitening toothpaste or baking soda. Whitening toothpaste is usually something that everybody has at home. So you're just basically going to use a little toothbrush. If you have like a little brush handy just laying around somewhere, you're just going to dip it, you know, get your sneakers wet or whatever you need to wash them. I'm just going to show it like on the side. You're doing get this quite aggressively. <laughs> <laughs> Very thoroughly. I was too. like, oh, this is going to be great. And she's like, yeah, just dump the whole water on the shoe. And then just I usually throw. just like put them under the running faucet and get them like really soaking mm -hmm. wet. And then, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then just kind of. You didn't even wet that part. Oh, I'm gonna do it now. Ooh. So, that's just gonna get everything out and like whiten it the same. It does it for your teeth, why wouldn't it do it for your shoes? Wow, that makes a lot of sense. Right? Oh, I can see it getting whiter, that's cool. And then if you like ever need to kick someone in the face, <laughs> you can also freshen their breath. <laughs> There's like wine, vinegar, and mint. And yep. this tea, oh lord it's Jesus. All because of me. Okay, guys. I just need something to smell good. It looks, actually, it's really disgusting smelling. Everything. So, here you can see the difference. Kind of like this, yeah? Hopefully, you can kind of see the difference. Oh, yeah, I can. This is super see? white. And this is kind of yellowy a little bit. This is so. crusty. This is clean. Now you know. So, there you go. Now you know. All right, for the last hack of the day, if you spill oil on your shirt or any type of clothing, maybe you're eating too many french fries and you're like, oh, or maybe you're like on a diet and you're in the car and you're eating the french fries and then you walk into work and there's like a french fry stain. That's embarrassing. Shame on you. But if it happens, here, I'm going to demonstrate. You can put some salt on it and it will soak it up, which is pretty cool. I don't really know if this works. I just read that it works. So we're going to test this theory. That's wow. a lot of grease. That's like you're eating like a... This is sesame oil. Mm -hmm. and we're going to use this pink salmon salt. Um... <laughs> It's Himalayan salt. Oh, you have to grind it up. Himalayan salt. Okay, so I'm just like this. Yep. Okay, so there's grease on the shirt. Now I'm just going to town with the salt. You want to make a sand castle with the salt. <laughs> also, look at my muscles. Do I look buff? <laughs> I like. Okay, I'm just you know. So use your fry or use your salt packet that they gave you with the French fries because you asked for extra salt. I know you mm -hmm. did. Don't act like girl. Don't lie to me. Okay. <laughs> okay. I think it's been long enough. Should we see? Let me just rub this in a little more. <laughs> a little oh. magic. Yeah, a little, okay. Oh, actually, we just realized this did soak up a lot of the oil yeah. just because it was so much. Like, Megan literally, like, well, poured I it on literally it. <laughs> you gosh, you're quite I literally. <laughs> so, you see, let's say, like, you're eating, you won't have, like, a crazy oil stain. You, you know, I won't be there to be, like, pour oil right. on your shirt. But if you keep just, like, the, so the salt will soak it a little bit, then you yeah. take it off, put new salt. New salt. So, like, if you do it a couple times. So, basically, that's because it did soak up quite a bit. Yeah. So thank you so much for watching, you guys. I hope that you had as much fun as we did because we sure had a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Make sure to check out Megan's channel. Yeah, because we, we filmed another video, a bunch of hacks just for you guys. Yep, more life hacks on Megan's channel. I Make sure you click on her face right here to check it out. And I will see you in my next episode. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Bye.